This week on the podcast, Carrie and I are joined by our friend Cheryl, and we are going through a few things that we kind of describe as, at least we can say we tried it at Disney. (laughs) Stay tuned to find out what they are. Hi, I'm Francine, and you're listening to the Pixie Dust Fan Podcast, a podcast where our first topic of conversation will always be Disney. I've been a Disney fan for as long as I can remember, and I'm determined to bring more of that Disney magic into my everyday life. So if you need a little extra pixie dust in your day, you've come to the right place. Thanks so much for listening, and let's get started. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Pixie Dust Fan Podcast. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Hi. We have a special guest with us today. What? (laughs) I thought you were going to say something. Welcome to the show, Cheryl. Hello. Welcome back. (laughs) Welcome back. You've been on with us a couple of times. You've been on a a couple of episodes with us, and we're happy to have you back again today. Um, Just to remind everybody, you have Let's Make Some Magic online. You sell all sorts of fun stuff, some stickers, some masks. You've been supporting Carrie's sticker addiction lately. Mm -hmm. And my yes. sister's I'm an enabler, edition. I'll admit it. Yes. You are. Your stuff is so fun. And I will definitely link to it all in the show notes. Um, we were talking actually before we started recording about your packaging and how creative it is. Like when your stuff shows up, it's like a little, it's like a little gift. It's fun oh. before the fun inside. <laughs> I like to send my, my items as if I'm sending a gift to a friend. It's, it's fun. It's 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 a very it's awesome it's it's a good thing that you do that. It is, and I recognized it. I was picking up my sister's mail for her the other day, and I was like, "Oh, I recognize this packaging." Yeah. So she was she was very excited to get uh, get her. Like stuff it goes too. far for some. Like and maybe it's just because we like we like stickers and we like Disney and we like you know the, I- the items that we're ordering. Maybe like you know if you ordered. If you ordered like a hard drive and or something that was, you know, <laughs> a hard the, drive, where did that hard, a hard drive or like computer <laughs> peripherals, you don't really care what the packaging looks like. But when you order stickers or fun Disney things, when it comes in that extra little bit of fun, it's like it's very cool. You can edit all that funny stuff out, but it's true. <laughs> I think, you know, see, every time Carrie says you can edit it out, she I, doesn't. Leave, I leave it in. <laughs> uh, this is how I test whether she listens to the episode or not. <laughs> so but it's Cheryl, true. I think that's a pretty valid, uh, you know. It's, it's valid. Yeah. You don't care about some of the other stuff, what the packaging looks like, no. but but this stuff is fun. So, mm-hmm. yeah. People Thank you. Will fu- yeah, so look for Cheryl online. Let's make some magic at Etsy, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can find her everywhere. So Cheryl, we talked, the last time you were on was about the Disney Renaissance. We talked about that. We did some hide and seek on the other episode. But then we were chatting um, and you said you thought it would be funny to hear some of the stuff that Carrie and I like kind of would not do again. So we could title it, at least we can say we tried it. And we thought that was so much fun. And then we were like, hang on a second, but we need to know what Cheryl would, wouldn't do again. <laughs> exactly. So, so I here feel like, we are. I feel like, I feel like anybody that's, you know, been to the park, especially if they've been there a few times, they've experienced something that they just, it wasn't necessarily a good experience Maybe it was a funny experience. Maybe it was kind of a lame experience. Um, but it's it's probably got a fun story behind it. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of exchange our stories of of things we can say we at least we tried it. I think it's fantastic. It's such a great idea. But I think the preparation for this was a little harder than than we imagined, Carrie. Right. <laughs> Carrie bit- will do anything. <laughs> And I think that's the hard part, right? So Carrie will not definitively say something is no, because you know she she's well. So I will in with... some parts of in some parts of my life, but with Disney, it's whatever. Like you go with I, the flow. I just go with the flow. Like I don't. I'm not. A, I don't know that I'm like offended by anything I've ever experienced in the park, but. Maybe. maybe maybe I wasn't like I, sh- I should have talked to Cheryl a little bit more like lame like I'm sure I could have some I could think of some lame things <laughs> I like that word I wish I would have had that word in my brain last night when I was trying to make my list so my list is gonna suck but hey we'll have fun talking through your list and I'm sure I'll have more than two cents to 
to chime in. Oh, for sure. And and then I actually got rules from Carrie saying that I wasn't allowed to say <laughs> the Tower of Terror or Astro Orbiter because I've already shared those stories and people don't want to hear them again. So no, we're just going to call... <laughs> So Preface just, to this episode. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna put it out there that those are things that at least I can say I tried it and no I will never do again. If you don't know why, you can refer to past podcast episodes for those stories. And I think those are the only two that you said were off limits, Carrie. I think so. Right. So this is gonna be fun. I'm yeah, excited. I'm definitely so, not going first. So, so I think we, <laughs> our guests should go first our guests should all, <laughs> always go. i figured you would try it because you knew i was struggling <laughs> i thought about it but i'm not exactly. going to do that to you i think uh i think obviously cheryl should go yes, first. our guest of course and I, always. I think this is i think this is going to be fun so we pick three each i have four in case one of them you know you guys take so we do not know each other's stuff well and everybody experienced it differently i'm sure Exactly. Okay. So why don't we let Cheryl, and it could be food, attraction, it could be whatever. It's just Disney. Okay, Cheryl, you go first. All right. So first, I'm going to go over to California Adventure. Uh, from... Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. This was Disneyland? <laughs> wait. I was you... just saying Disney experiences. <laughs> yeah. But wait a minute. You have something at Disneyland that you wouldn't do again? I can't oh. believe there's anything lame you would find at Disneyland, I, I wouldn't say time. lame. I wouldn't say lame. It was <laughs> not lame. <laughs> Carry on. Oh. Yeah. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> So my first one is from Disney's California Adventure. Uh, 2018, my 30th birthday, I took a trip, and it just happened to coincide with a trip that Carrie took with her best friend. And so there were days that Carrie and, and it was Glenda, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, so Carrie and Glenda would meet up with Katie and I, and uh, Katie is my friend. Um, <laughs> but uh, there was one day where K Carrie convinced me that I needed to go on Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, oh, even though Jerry, I was absolutely so terrified. And like, she was like, it's okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> she booked a fast pass. And as soon as we got to the front, she passes me her annual pass. It says, here's your ticket to get on. And I'm like, but this is yours. <laughs> So it was just me and Glenda. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Can, can, it, <laughs> can I pipe in here? I want to. I just want to let people know what it's like traveling with <laughs> adventures with Carrie. Yes. This, is that, so far, it's not starting out as a good uh, poster for is that adventures this was, with Carrie. This was Cheryl's uh, trip to Disneyland, and and I wanted to make sure she had an as all inclusive experience as I could. <laughs> And those gals are got their to-do list, right? They've got 75 things to do before noon. So Carrie is over at California Adventure because whatever, it's like everything's easy like Sunday morning. You just go with the flow. And I thought, I'm going to get these gals a fast pass because I don't want them to miss this experience. Well, I knew Katie wasn't going to go on it, but I knew <laughs> that Cheryl might want to. So I, in I ensured there was a fast pass available so she could have this experience. So I see it more that... You know, you maybe it wasn't the best. Guide? Maybe it wasn't. I was just thinking ahead and I didn't want you to miss that opportunity if you wanted it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's I, 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 hmm. So Cheryl, Cheryl, conti so continue with <laughs> she abandoned you at the front. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, it was all it was, you know, the queue and everything was great. I love the visuals and, and the animatronics and the story. And uh, Glenda even told me, she's like, it's okay. I've ridden Tower of Terror. It's not that bad. So I'm still very apprehensive and scared and, you know, to be expected. Um, but then we actually get on the ride and it just happened so quickly. Like everything just kind of came all at once. I didn't even really know what to do with my bag. I had my bag with me. So I like just kind of gripped it with my knees and I realized that was a mistake because my feet would lift off the floor and my bag almost hit me in my face and <laughs> not to mention just I wasn't prepared for the amount of ups and downs that 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 ride actually gave <laughs> but uh yeah it was just uh it was a very intense experience 
Um, I can say I've done it. Uh, I don't know that I'll do it again. And hit me with your best shot still haunts me to this day. (laughs) (laughs) I totally feel your pain, Cheryl. That is, that is a traumatic experience. Um, And I'm sorry that you had a tour guide that would do that to you. (laughs) No, let's go back to this. Like, I think she was deciding whether or not she wanted to go on it. She wasn't sure. Were you not, like, having a hard time deciding? I was. Like, I I just didn't say, here, Cheryl, go on this or else you're not a Disney fan. Like, you were like, oh, I haven't decided. I haven't decided. And I'm like, well, these girls, the the days are numbered. They've only got so much time on their trip. I'm getting them a fast pass. And if you wouldn't have went, then I would have went on it with Glenda. But we only had, there's only two of us. So we could only get two fast passes. So I wanted to make sure you experienced it. Yes. And And Glenda had, I don't think Glenda had experienced it. I don't, was that her first and only time she went on it? Well, this was my favorite part is after we got off the ride, Glenda turns to me and she's like, yeah, that's much more intense than I remember the Tower of Terror <laughs> <laughs> After she, like, reassured me that it would be totally fine. <laughs> but she loves, like, Glenda loves theme parks, so yeah. just generally, like, she loves going to Canada's Wonderland and riding on all the rides and whatever, so. And I do think that I would have, if I didn't do it, I would have left that trip thinking, oh, I should have done it. It's now been You're three welcome. Years. Yeah, <laughs> but like like I said, I, at least I could say I tried it. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome one. That is and good. W- what a good story and funny that you know Carrie featured in it. <laughs> yeah, it helped you along. You did. You did. You'd always wonder, but now <laughs> hit me with your best shot. That's the best. I can't believe. It. <laughs> no, it'll come on at work, and like I have to like really focus on like obviously I have to focus on what I'm doing, but like. I'm just like reading things really intensely. Like, <laughs> don't listen to the music. Just look at what you're doing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, is that the music in there now? Well, there's all there's different songs. Like there's like, oh wow, different like rock, pop culturey, very fa- very. Oh, I love famous Pat songs. Benatar, but mm-hmm. now I'm aging myself. But I don't yeah. know how many songs there are. Like, Jamie, I can think tell there's you. six. Yeah, I think six, six or something. Like and I'll, that. I'll admit, I was kind of like when Rocket plugged in the Walkman and that song played, I was like, oh man, because that's the one I used on all the promos. And I was like, I wanted something different. And so like, if I were to do it again, I think that would be one thing that would stress me out. Like, please, at least play something different. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's so random. It is random. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, see, the last time I was on, it was long before they changed it into that stuff. So. And it was a really cool ride. Like the, the visuals and everything it was really amazing. But yeah. My yeah. tummy didn't like it. <laughs> I, I bet. Me neither. I bet. Yeah, mine neither. Okay, hey, so Fran, Carrie, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to make me go first before you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. I'm going to say uh, my, at least I say I tried it, is the Little Mermaid Adventure at Hollywood Studios. If you are unsure what it is, join the club because I wasn't sure either when I went in (laughs) and I realized it's a full puppet show about the Little Mermaid. (laughs) So, yeah, (laughs) I had no idea when we walked in that it was a puppet show. I don't know why. It's a real aerial though, singing. It's a real aerial, but it's a bunch of puppets. So, you know, if I had a little kid with me or whatever, yeah, it would have been fun because it's it's a full puppet. It, it's, yeah. I, I Carrie, the Muppet time. lover, is like, what's wrong with puppets? I know. Carrie's like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but yes, I you know, I don't really have a big, full, funny story to go with it, except for the fact that I didn't realize it was a puppet show. And then I was trapped in there and had to watch the whole thing and would never do it again. Unless I had a little kid. So maybe I would. But I don't think so. I don't think I find that... it's. It's a great fast pass eater. <laughs> yeah. Because like Hollywood Studio with their tier program, you know, you just need to fit a fast pass in there. I've done it where I put it in and I have not gone. <laughs> right? It's it's one of those things. It's kind of like a throwaway. It's a time killer. Like if you need something to do to get inside, air conditioning, whatever, it's, it's a bit of a time killer. Uh, but yeah, not for me. Like I would do the playhouse thing or whatever. Those, those are fun. I think it's fun. It's high energy. It just the the puppet show is just not for me. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, so that <clears throat> hmm? I think that 
I went on it once, so I guess it's sort of, and I have no no uh, desire to go into it again. So I guess that's the same. I feel the same. See? But do you remember back in the old days before, like, people used, it was popular. Maybe it still yeah. is. I don't know. But it was so popular and you'd have to go and you'd, like, wait. So, like, they'd have you people be sitting on the floor in the room waiting for your yeah. next turn. And, like, you'd be, like, you'd have to wait, like, three or four shows before you got in. And there was lineups and people it's sitting because everywhere. Because they probably don't know it's a puppet show either. Well, I think it's Little Mermaid's kind of popular with the little ones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Like, and that was kind of when I, when I went to do the Frozen Ever After sing-along thing, I kind of thought it was going to be something similar, like that kind of lame, oh my goodness. But that one turned out to be so much fun. So, yes, hmm. if you don't have a little one, avoid the Little Mermaid puppet show. Carrie, you're up. I don't can't have we? any rides on can't, my list. Can't. That's okay. That's okay. Or attractions. But I probably, because I, I don't know, like I just think of like, I think... I think through this too much. Like, I think how many times I've been a tour guide where I make sure everybody sees everything or almost everything. So you just go, you, everything's, you know, worth seeing once. Right. right. But that's the whole name of the show. At least we can say we tried it. You only have to do it once. But if I've toured around like 10 people, I've seen it 10 times. Oh my goodness. So, it's not... so in what that's you get to them. choose. <laughs> yeah. What you get to choose for you. Okay, Carrie, you're, you're stalling now. You're stalling because you don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess since since we're at um, Hollywood Studios, I'll say um, no. It doesn't even make sense. It's, it's pizza Rizzo, yeah, to eat, yeah. You're right because it's just Pizza Planet, and I'm not really a big pizza eater to start with. Not not fast food pizza, and uh, it's but, not the greatest. It, it's, we it's we went and we got pizza and the little like salad in the cup and. Oh, remember that was a disgusting meal. That was really. I wouldn't say it's disgusting. Oh no, it Carrie, edible. it was not good. It it was edible. I I don't even think we finished it. I think we did. I I, I don't think so. It it's was out gross. of your memory. <laughs> it was gross. I remember because that building's awesome with all the Muppet stuff in it. So I I would love to go to Pizza Rizzo and go for a walk through, or maybe get something some dessert and just go upstairs and look around. I like I like the actual details you're very, of that you're very conflicted about mm -hmm. pizza rizzo because it's muppet themed mm -hmm. but the food the upstairs is, not is good. awesome yeah we've so, eaten there a couple times i've only eaten, well i've eaten there just once i think i've walked around a few times i've eaten there twice with you so i don't know mm, okay <laughs> then i've eaten there twice <laughs> it's I that memorable so, though. <laughs> We were yeah. upstairs in the ballroom once. Yes, in remember? the ballroom. Yeah, that was, and that was something different, though. That wasn't us going in order and quick. That was right, but that was. But we ate there, and then yeah. there was the other time where we were like the only people on the second floor. Remember? Because well, we remember, it wasn't always it wasn't always open too. Right, right, like because there wasn't enough people that wanted to go eat there. I yeah. guess. So it's Muppet themed. Or there food. wasn't much happening in the back that part of the park because everything was closed because they were building. Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge. So that back end of the park was pretty, you know, empty. Right. So that you would say, at least you can say you tried it. Sure. Yep. Okay. One That's shocking. That's shocking, Carrie. A Muppet theme thing, but it's I the agree pizza. with you. It's not the, the Muppets. It's the, the, pizza's, the pizza. The pizza's not good. And the cannoli thing was not good either. Yeah. 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 So Pizza Rizzo. The pizza at Pizza Rizzo. <laughs> let's be clear let's be clear the pizza at pizza rizzo yep okay i picture you going there with your little bag lunch <laughs> taking in the atmosphere having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich yep. like it's the type of place where i'll like i'll bring everybody in and like show them all the cool muppet stuff and then walk out like i would make everybody look at them if right they would let me she does give them a tour yeah. of the muppets mm -hmm. totally carry on <laughs> okay cheryl what's your second one all right mine is uh from 2012 my visit to animal kingdom on my disney moon uh we at the time park novices we knew nothing about what we were doing we we're just kind of walking into things to see what they were like and uh we thought it was cool that it's tough to be a bug was under the tree of life we're like hey let's go under here and see what it's like under there and then we, uh, like, I really enjoyed the lobby and the music theming of, like, the, the movie themes and stuff. That was really cool, really well done. And then we got inside and witnessed the show. 
and uh, the visuals, again, visuals, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but it was painful. It hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> um, at one point, there's a, there's a sting that, like, hits you in the back. And it hit me, like, probably, like, between my vertebrae. Oh. And, like, it, it, like, hit a nerve. And I, I, I still can recall what it felt like. And it's been, like, eight years. So. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then, like, right near, like... I don't know if anybody cares about spoilers on this, but like, there's a part where they they call. I believe it's maggots. Was mm -hmm. it the maggots? I think it's maggots. Yeah. So they're saying, okay, just let all the maggots exit first. And I'm like, I I knew something was gonna happen. I lifted my feet, and I hear a progression of screams coming towards me <laughs> as people's feet are getting hit by these maggots. I'm like, why would they do this? <laughs> Cause like from from my right side, just like screaming to coming closer and closer, <laughs> and then it it's like a wave that goes over us as it goes towards the exit. <laughs> oh, that part is so very gross. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I, I I like it's a bug's life, but it's it but the concept of what my brain imagines with all that stuff kind of freaks me out a little bit. I think lie. you just have like what I went on it because I'm the biggest scaredy cat ever like I was kind of like this is like ridiculous because you don't know what's going to happen right like the bugs or the poking or the whatever that's happening in your back or on your around your feet and uh and I didn't like it for sure yeah. I'd be like I don't want to go on this thing again but then I think one year I went on with my sister who like I just was like, hey, we're going to Disney World because she hadn't ever been. She probably never even really wanted to go. And we went on it and she laughed like she was laughing and like peeing her pants laughing. She thought it was so <laughs> funny. And then I was kind of like, I, and again, I think we went on it because it was probably like, well, I sh we should go on this, right? Because we're checking everything off the list. And I remember her laughing like crazy. And then me going, I think that's the way I got to do this. <laughs> so that, you know, I wasn't so, you know put my big girl pants on and I was like I gotta go in here and be like a grown-up and like laugh too because it is funny but um but I was kind of afraid of it so it was it was probably one and done until I had that epiphany where I was like this is where you saw funny. you found it funny instead yes, of instead gross. of horrifying I, I think I did really enjoy it up until like the last 15 seconds <laughs> yeah <laughs> like if this is the finale I'm out I'm out <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's one of those attractions. Like, I think that's one where when you sit down, they tell you if you have to leave how to get out. And and that's kind of the indication for me that something weird is going to happen because people are going to need to take their kids and escape. So, yeah, it's it's the whole visual in my brain of they're trying to create this thing with, where there's maggots under your feet. And my brain starts thinking there are maggots under my feet. That's how good they are. Which is not good. But... Imagine earring at its finest. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. What did your husband think? Well, that's the thing. Like, I even, as I'm writing down my, my ideas uh, in my notebook, I, I told Tom, I'm like, yeah, so I think I'm going to do It's Tough to be a, be a Bug. And he's like, ugh. <laughs> 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 he, like, fully shuddered. <laughs> so I don't think he'll be doing that again either. <laughs> so you haven't been on it since? Well, in 2016... Uh, my friend Katie and I were we were back in Animal Kingdom, and I think we we have a, a YouTube channel, and there's even footage of us walking towards it. I'm like, hey, let's go on tough to on this stuff to be a bug, and then I immediately go, no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think I haven't been on it in quite some time either. Maybe we should go on it. I don't think so. Oh, why? So you could, well, if you're gonna laugh all the way through, it could be fun. It's just a laughing exercise, right? Yeah. Laugh through exactly. the page. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Fran, what's your next one? My next one is a food that at least I can a say food. I tried it. Yes, a food. A food. Uh, now, I wanted to, I really wanted to pick a food that I would normally like because it's not like, you know, like I, I could list a whole laundry list of foods that I don't want to try. Um, but this is one that, you know, at least I can say I tried it. I really wanted to like it and it was absolutely horrible. Might've just been the day, might've just been the time, but whatever you do, do not go and get poutine at the refreshment port at Epcot. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I can't even tell you. So the day 
we were leaving Epcot. I don't know where we were going. We wanted to leave and it started to spit. So the, it was just a little bit of rain. So we knew it was, you know, afternoon showers were coming. So, and we were hungry. So we got to that part and I was like, oh, we should go try the poutine and we'll just grab, you know, grab a spot to sit until the rain passes. So I went and got us poutine. We found a little bench with an umbrella so that we were shaded from the rain and it was pouring rain. And I can tell, and it was like a hundred degrees out, but yet the cheese was not melted. So poutine is supposed to have melted cheese on it. It was a hundred degrees, but there were no melted cheese curds. They were just big cheese curds. And and the fries were kind of, they weren't hot. It was, just, it was gross. It was gross. All I can say is don't do it. Never true again. Canadian review. <laughs> yes. Well, and I think you probably should have known better. <laughs> is my is shame my on comment. you, Francine. <laughs> like, as Canadians, have we learned anything when leaving our land? Is that you just don't eat poutine unless you're at home? Well, I but it it sounded everybody was talking about this poutine at the refreshment port, and it was near Canada, and it was supposed to be good, and it wasn't. There's my at least I can say I tried it. <laughs> Food edition. <laughs> Carrie, you're up. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, Carrie. Well, considering I just teased you for ordering poutine, I guess I'll just jump right into this one. I'll oh. keep it with food. Oh, she's staying with the food. Okay. Come on. And um, here I go. So this is general across the land. General across the land? Across, sorry, the world the, of Walt okay. Disney World. Okay, I was going to say, are you talking land or no? No, okay. no, for goodness sakes, we do this all the time. <laughs> okay. Across the Disney parks. Is that, I may not be the podcast co-host anymore after this, guys. <laughs> We're on the edge what? of our seats. Disney cupcakes. <gasps> <gasps> You did not go there. Like, honestly, like, you I think I have not... peer pressure. Yes, I am going there. There's oh the peer pressure gosh. because you love cupcakes so much. Oh my so, goodness. like, I order them only because I think, well, you know, then we'll have two cupcakes to post on Instagram <laughs> or we'll have two cupcakes for the for the Facebook <laughs> post. That's the only reason I order these cupcakes. Carrie, how can you not like Disney cupcakes? They're, they're full just, of icing. They're good, but they're, but they're uh, uh, not my favorite they're far from my favorite i would i only order them because i feel i have to oh my gosh the shocking truth comes out that's gonna be that's our marketing for this they're episode. beautiful the they're great for truth. photos and i nothing like and i don't i'm like I, they're good like they're not horrible they're not they're i'm not criticizing the the, the overall uh the, the the art and the baking and whatever that goes into these cupcakes but would you, they're, would you they're expensive sprinkles? often. Like the fanciest ones are, you know, they're like five ninety nine usually or more. Yes, and okay. and and you know, that's I could. They're usually big enough to split. But I, I know I don't split. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. And I don't necessarily like sprinkles. Cupcakes are okay, but I'm excluding sprinkles. Cupcakes. I would rather. I probably eat a Disney cupcake because it's themed and it's fan and it's. And, you know, great for photos and whatever than a sprinkles cupcake. But anyway, so cupcakes. So if you had your choice, would you have a Disney cupcake or a sprinkles cupcake? I would pick a Disney cupcake just for the sake of um, that they, they're fun to look at and you can take pictures and I could and you could post about them. And what about what about what about the OK, if it's just based on taste? Um, probably a sprinkles cupcake. Oh, Carrie, I'm just like, I, I'm shocked. Like it's a company that's built its entire like it makes cupcakes like it should be better it's a cupcake company well true true <laughs> true but disney cupcakes are just so good like they're cake and they're icing yeah like you can't really go wrong with cake and icing yeah i probably if like i said i would never order them oh my well so see but then you are a good podcast co-host because you order a cupcake just so that we have pictures Oh, well, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to wait a minute. I was going to say, I'm not eating two cupcakes. I'm not saying happens, these so. cupcakes are any way horrible. I just am saying I wouldn't like if it's saying I would, I would never order them. Like, just because I, I just do not, not my type of treat. I can't believe it. Cheryl, do you I, like I, cupcakes? 
I know Katie was that was the one thing she wanted when we went to Disneyland and uh we both I believe yeah I tasted it and then I also got the Matterhorn macaroon and I preferred the macaroon over the cup <gasps> I'm sorry oh my goodness and the Matterhorn macaroon macaroon is like is a good treat because it's one of those things you can buy and like you could nibble on and then you can bring it back to your room and like have it with a cup of tea because it like it's it's I don't think I had it one. lasts like <laughs> you could buy a couple of them bring them back to your room leave them in the bag you don't have to worry about anything really bad happening to them and you could you could have it later with your tea or you could eat I it actually later. I didn't finish it it was our last night at Disneyland when we got the the goodies and uh, I didn't actually uh, finish it and I actually ate it at the airport the next morning mm-hmm. so <laughs> I think I brought one home last one. time I think I brought one of those home I brought home the churro the churro toffee whatever I think that's what it's called the churro toffee delicious but yeah Matterhorn macaroon it's a good and we want to talk about a photo op right there like how like okay a cupcake whatever I guess maybe there's a castle on the cupcake and you can like there's uh, the cupcakes always look just perfect but you can get the you can get this matterhorn macaroon go on main street hold it up in the air and you can show that it looks exactly like the matterhorn it's beautiful (laughs) with a little icing top on the next trip to disneyland we have to get me one i don't know if i'd like it though it's a macaroon it just tastes and yeah like it's not like it's anything like spectacular like they haven't taken it to the next level it's it's just it's it's, just visually it's visually it has icing and and it's got a little bit of icing on it okay icing Okay. But um, if we're going to talk about theming, that's a cool one, too. Mm-hmm. All right. I can't but, believe you in the cupcakes. All right. But, what about yeah. the cheesecakes? The cheesecakes you like, though, right? Like, remember, mm-hmm. we drove over to Art of Animation to get the Nemo cheesecake. That yeah, was that delicious. Was good. Yeah, that's a thing. Like, something that like that's one. a little bit different and fun. Like, I would pick that before I would pick a cupcake. Because I think a cup, not like a cupcake's a cupcake. It looks f- fancy, but it should just taste like a cupcake. Whereas you can get something that's different. Like, we didn't know what was in that cheesecake. We didn't know what to expect. We saw it. We were like, ooh, like, you know, is there cookie? Is there cheesecake? What's this? This? How is it blue? Like, what is it? Why does it look What's like water? It? What are these cook? What is this sand? Cookie crumbs. Like, it's it was different. Mm. So I think I would rather pick something that's special and fancy and like a one-off treat because of a theme or a party or whatever than pick a cupcake because you know what it may look fancy maybe there's a um a hitchhiking ghost chocolate sticking out of it but it's in the end it's just a cupcake (laughs) oh all right i can't believe you said cupcakes but all right i didn't realize that my idea for this episode would possibly be the implosion of the podcast (laughs) (laughs) i can't believe so i'm saying i'm not into puppet shows and carrie's confessed she doesn't like cupcakes i don't know where this is gonna go (laughs) you guys need podcast counseling we might (laughs) i'm gonna be looking for another podcast (laughs) she got me hooked on being on podcast and then i get kicked out (laughs) oh okay cheryl What's your third? Okay, so this is something that I would love to do again. Um, It's kind of like a... It's going to be a little different, but it's the fact that I don't think I'll get to. Um, Oh, okay. In the format that it's currently in, uh, and that is Splash Mountain. Uh, It is an attraction that I always wanted to do, but I was scared of it. And anytime that... I would, e- I would either chicken out or any time that I was really ready to do it, it was under for refurbishment. So, oh. you know, it often goes out probably at least once a year, right? Right. Um, so I tend to travel during the times when a lot of rides are being refurbished. Um, but this last, well, not this last August, this year has really messed me up. But uh, 20, no, 2019 in August, yeah. I, went, I went for the, <laughs> the pin event and uh, a friend and I went on Splash Mountain for my first time. I was still scared, but I still did it and I ended up loving it. And it ended up being one of my favorite attraction experiences. Um, so I'm not saying I'm, I'm sad about the Princess and the Frog uh, overlay. I'm really actually looking forward to that, but I'm, I'm glad to say that I tried Splash Mountain in its original state. It's really fun and really cute. And mm. if you have the opportunity to do it before it changes, do it. 
That's such a, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. So you, so it's not that you wouldn't do it again. It's that you, you don't know that you'll get the opportunity to do it in this current state. Yes. So I can at least say I tried it. (laughs) Oh, I, and I also, I want to also add on to that saying, like, if it's something that scares you, don't knock it till you tried it. And then Mm -hmm. you can at least say you tried it. (laughs) And you can be like, yeah, I'm done. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Was it the hill, that, like the big drop that scared you? That was Yeah, it. the fact that you can like stand right at the edge of it and you can see all these people falling towards you and it looks really, really high. But um, my trick, I think, is if you look for where the camera is, it doesn't seem so bad. And then you can make a funny face at the camera and it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very Don't true. Don't look down. Look for the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a big drop. It is a big drop. Like, it feels like a big drop when you're on it, especially when you get to that top and the front of your boat goes down. Like, that split second when the front of the boat tips over and you can... Oh, yeah, it's a big one. After watching many POVs on on YouTube, knowing that Briar Patch is when you go. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite rides because I love... Like, I love the drop... That's like, I don't necessarily love the up and downs of Guardians of the Galaxy, but a good old like log ride drop or like, an you know, just regular old fashioned roller coasters where they're just kind of, you know, normal. <laughs> that was, uh, that's awesome. But for me, it's like, do I want to get soaking wet? I would go on it all the time. But it's like, do I really feel like who am I with? Is there a way that I can hide around them in front of them? Do I have a do I do I have anything that I can you know an extra hoodie I could put on to double up so I don't get you know drenched and then I, that's how I decide which is unfortunate because I really like the ride but and I've mastered I know how to go on that ride and not I can go on that ride and not and really not get wet I've got it mastered and it's unfortunate everyone around me that's that traveling with. with me is soaked <laughs> yeah it's unfortunate for those that are with you. <laughs> And I still, but and it's it's like the art of like, bef- <laughs> it's the art of like making sure you make the most epic photo, but then you have to recover really quickly and do what you need to do so that you don't get drenched. <laughs> well, there's nothing, it, there's nothing worse than walking around the park with wet shoes. Like the rest of me can dry if it's hot, I'm okay, but it's the wet shoes. Mm-hmm. and socks like they, because they take forever to dry and, so, and even yeah like i just even with being on a hot day and you know you're gonna dry really quickly like depends on what you're wearing and if, whether it's gonna dry quickly like it's just maybe at certain points in your life you're like who cares it's just awesome and it's fun but like at this point i'm like no i'm not not interested <laughs> so that's the same with the cali river rapids at uh yeah at animal kingdom i get drenched every time i've been on mm-hmm. it i get drenched so i probably would only go on that ride if i'm staying at animal kingdom lodge so that i could get home quickly at the end of the day get drenched because it's gonna happen and then and go then back go, to the and resort. then go home yeah mm-hmm for sure. And I love those rides. Like, I love that ride. Like, love it, love it, love it. I love water, anything like that. And it's just oh, that I've become an old, crusty theme park curmudgeon <laughs> that hates, that hates, that hates having wet jeans. So we should call you Mrs. Fredrickson? Yeah. <laughs> Soon you'll be the one holding all the bags. Yeah. So Cheryl, that, I'm looking forward to the, the Princess and the Frog, um, overlay too but it, it's i'm gonna miss the song like mm-hmm. honestly i think the song is the part that i'm gonna miss the because it's so upbeat and cheerful and how do you do like i just mm-hmm. i don't know <laughs> well i think you were mentioning it last week uh, about how you're hoping that the music gets carried into like from the film into the ride yes and, yeah, uh, that'll be great at music. least yeah those songs at least are are super catchy and and oh. uplifting they so, are epic. They are epic. Yeah. Like I love, I love dig a little deeper. Like Me that's too. when you, when you feel bad or you're, you're looking for some kind of motivation, put that song on. And it's just like, you just, oh, it's so great. I love that song. Got the gospel roots in that one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. It's so good. Oh, Splash Mountain. That's a good one. All right. I get, oh, who's next? I'm next. I feel so because I took an extra. I did an extra one just in case we had we had. Matched you could one. maybe follow my neck, mine last one because my last one's probably crappy. So you could have four. Uh, nice try. <laughs> uh, so both of mine, both of my last ones are attractions. 
but for two different reasons. So if I stay on the theme of, you know, not fun is Mission Space Orange. Uh, that is one. And I kind of feel that way about the new coasters and stuff they're building. It's like, I never want to say I've never been on it. Um, but like Mission Space Orange, I did it before there was even a, a green. So it was just, it was just Mission Space. And, and it was the most horrific experience. Like it was, well, I can't say it's not worse than Tower of Terror in the, in the terror factor, like Tower of Terror, I was terrified. Uh, Mission Space was more, I felt sick, like really sick. Um, like, like I kept thinking, why would people do this to themselves? Like it ruined, it ruined probably half my day. So at least I can say I tried it. Now, Mission Space Green, I love, uh, but yeah, Mission Space Orange, no. And then I'm going to give you my bonus one just because it's for a totally different reason, which is the Monster's Laugh Floor. I will not do that again. I, I, at least I can say I did it, but I won't do it again. I have severe anxiety about being called out in a group <laughs> and I don't, and what happens my first time I get in there, I don't realize that's what they do in there. So it had just opened. I didn't understand that they were going to call on people in the crowd. Of course, I'm sitting right at the end and lo and behold, it's me on the screen. And I was the one they picked to do like you had to make the bunny ears or the <laughs> rabbit ears or whatever. So like I was on camera for like, I, I can't even tell you the anxiety. I was like, nope, never again. I'm not doing that again. So, Well, at least monster. you weren't that guy. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that guy. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like being called out like that. So I won't do that again. So well, anybody go, listening, that's what, what's in there. To go back to your Mission Space story. Um, before I had even stepped foot into a Disney park, uh, Tom and I were planning our honeymoon there. And my aunt and her uh, her husband, um, uh, they had just gone to Disney for the first time. They just happened to take a road trip. They're not big Disney people, but they just wanted to go and see what it was like. And so they came back from it and told me, don't go on the spaceship ride. It will make oh. you sick. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And so <laughs> I went to Epcot thinking spaceship Earth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, they didn't know the names of everything. They just went on things and just told me their experiences. <laughs> like, don't go on the spaceship ride. It will make you sick. It will write off your day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was, uh, we didn't go on Spaceship Earth that trip. Oh, and, my goodness. And now Spaceship Earth is one of my favorite attractions. I love it so much. Oh, I love it, too. I love it, too. And, you know, Mission Space, if you have kids, they will be fine. Like, kids love that attraction. They don't seem to have the whole issue with it making them sick. It's, it's as you get older, these things, like, maybe as a kid, I would have loved it. Kind of like the teacups. I loved the teacups as a kid. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another one. I could not get on the teacups right now. Maybe a lower center of gravity. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I don't, or I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on the teacups and not spin them. Yeah, but you still go back and forth. Like, it's yeah, still kind of... It's it's, it's, have you done it lately? Yeah, yeah. Glenn and I oh, did okay. it when we were... Okay. Disney. All right. Well, Carrie, what's your last one then? Okay, Jeez. my last one is... Um, again, on my really silly list. Uh-oh. Is um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Oh. There are going to be some people listening who are like... <gasps> I'm I'm okay with that choice, Carrie. Now, if we were there and like you said you want to like you want to get tickets to like you like what, we got no plans, do you want to go to Mickey's very merry Christmas party? I'm like, sure, let's go. <laughs> yeah, cuz you're like that with everything though. Like if I said to you, let's have a cupcake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'd be like, oh, "Okay." Okay. Um, <laughs> but I feel that it's a uh, it's a fun party, but because there's so much Christmas everywhere, I don't think that it's needed, right? Like you can get your fill of Christmas. And the thing is, there's so much to explore around the world, Walt Disney World at Christmas time that, you know, if you go multiple times at that time of the year, like, you know, you could do the party and then next time you can re explore the resorts or you can do something, you know, whatever they're doing at Epcot or whatever, like you could focus and really um, 
you know, enjoy the other Christmassy type things that they have going on. So, so you don't thing. find that there's any added bonus in going to the Christmas party? I think it's like, okay, the parade's fun and, and the fireworks like that. For me, that's why I go to a party because they have a special parade and they have special fireworks. Right. Um, like I don't go for the characters or like, the, well, the cookies, like they had cookies. Like, and I, I went not, I went later in like the last a couple of years ago and the cookies are like packaged yeah they're not now. the warm soft ones that they used to have yeah. when you just went up and grabbed a cookie well, i never got to see packaged. the good old days of the mickey's very merry christmas party where it was the offerings were different so i think actually when i went the year that i went um they weren't packaged yet but like i remember like walking around and like picking up all these cookies and i was like i there's like there's more cookies than i could ever eat so like i was wrapping them in like tissue paper and then bringing them back to my to the room to eat later and so i guess the package makes sense but i can't imagine like the package cookies being as good as what they were back in the good old days no they're not like um, my friend gave like i have a i have a package of (laughs) christmas party cookies in my drawer here because someone gave them to me last year and i just kept them as a souvenir i didn't eat them so Oh, yeah. tasty. <laughs> so I don't know uh, if I've even tried one of the packaged cookies. I was just like, oh, that's neat. So I threw it in my drawer yeah. and I never ate it. But yeah, so the mm, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. <laughs> vintage. Yeah. Um, I... That that would be my my one and one and done. Like, I don't feel I need to, to, to do Halloween that. party. I've done many times and I'll and and maybe I, it's changed a bit. I don't know that I would want to go all the time, but I love the Halloween party. But the Christmas party. I was trying to think of things like different experiences, right? Like tours mm-hmm. or or show or parties or things that I that I could right. say would be my one and one and done. So at least was... you can say you tried it. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about experiences. I guess maybe mine would, if I thought of an experience, it would have been parasailing. But I think that's because I don't think they do it anymore <laughs> over the Seven Seas Lagoon. I don't think they do that anymore. I don't. I don't know. I think they they might not. They did it for the longest time. I don't know how mm. like, that they haven't been doing it for a long time. Like, it's yeah, been, I was always there. That was a fun experience. Yeah. Well, I this was a fun not over idea. the Seven Seas Lagoon. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It thank was, you. It was amazing to see the Magic Kingdom from like that height. It was pretty cool. I yeah, I really loved that. Hmm. It was fun. Um, this was a fun idea, Cheryl. Yes, it was. Yeah, some might be an unpopular opinion, but, um, you know, like I said, everybody has their own experiences, so yeah, it's, kinda, it's just fun to have story time. Mm-hmm. Well, at least we can say we tried it. Cheryl, at the end of the podcast, you know we do uh, Pixie Dust, so something that brought you some fun or joy or whatever this week. Do you have some Pixie Dust to share? Well, mine's kind of upcoming Pixie Dust, because I guess when this episode airs, it being Wednesday, it's my birthday! Yay! Ah! Oh, yay! Happy birthday! Thank you. What? What do you? Do you have any birthday plans? <laughs> <laughs> it's my my first lockdown birthday. No plans. No plans. Actually, I I should say um, for Christmas, my mom gave Tom and I a couple of Disney themed cookbooks. So um, I've gone through and picked some favorite treats that Tom intends to make for me for my birthday. Nice. So, oh, that's a good, that's a good yeah. way to celebrate. So definitely going to have beignets because th- last year, this this is a completely different birthday from last year because last year I was in Walt Disney World for my birthday and my, my cake was actually a Mickey beignet and I fell in love. Well, I've had Mickey beignets before that, but they even like the wonderful people of Disney even put a candle in it for me. And like, it was funny because the the beignet was so fresh that the bottom of the candle melted <laughs> so like i oh, pulled it out and like there was half the candle was missing it would just happen to be sitting on top of the beignet <laughs> that's cool but, oh. but yeah we'll have beignets cronuts and i think we're gonna try a troll horn as well oh. from, oh. from norway mm-hmm. tasty that's awesome good idea oh, that sounds like a good idea let us know how they work out with the with the recipes I'll try to remember to take a photo and send it to you. Yeah. You'll be like, you'll, they'll, you'll be like licking your fingers and be like, oh, snap. <laughs> you forgot to take a picture of that cronut. Guess we got to do it again. We got to do it all over we again. More. Okay, oh, my I birthday's this week, but next Saturday, cronuts for breakfast. <laughs> I love a good cronut. Oh, that's good. Well, happy birthday. Yes, happy Thank birthday. Thank you. 
Carrie. Oh, my do, turn. Do you have pixie dust? Yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so my pixie dust is actually um, my friend Glenda that was mentioned earlier. Oh. Went to Disneyland with me the year that Cheryl went for her. Uh, we were in February when everything that was the February where Main Street was boarded up because they were fixing oh, yes. the train tracks. Cheryl and Glenda and Katie got to see Disneyland all boarded up. It was sad. But then there's another reason to go back. It just gives you a reason to go back. Anyways, so Glenda um, and I uh, did some walking this week at lunchtime. So um, we hadn't, uh, we, we connected a lot when the, when the um, pandemic was just beginning. We would have weekly calls when we were locked down and then we weren't doing weekly calls as much and and um, I've been trying to walk at lunch and she messaged me um, earlier in the week to say that she was walking at lunch listening to our podcast and I was like wait a minute you're walking at lunch maybe (laughs) we can walk at lunch so then this week um, and hopefully we're going to try to walk this weekend we we did a couple of lunchtime walks and we chatted and we and we caught up and and it was awesome. So it was it was kind of a surprise that we ended up spending so much time chitter chattering this week. So That's that so was fun. Pixie dust. Yeah. So instead of listening to you on the podcast, she just got to talk to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if Glenn is listening her. right now, hello, it's your guardian's ride buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is so awesome. Well, hello, Glenda. So you guys are you guys walked at lunch, had like a virtual walk though. You're mm-hmm. not physically together. You're you're on the phone. Yeah, we called each other. Mm-hmm. That's we fun. went for a walk around our neighborhoods. I think. Wow. Well, the trip that you you guys were on was like your friend anniversary mm-hmm, trip, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, thirty years. I think it was. It was my thirtieth birthday and their thirtieth <laughs> friend anniversary. Wow. <laughs> And then I keep I keep joking that we're gonna do it again and again and again. So she's like, "What? what like you know that was an anniversary trip, so you have to you know think of a reason to <laughs> run away with Carrie to Disneyland." Well, she needs to go back because she got like Disneyland was boarded right. up pretty much, so um, she definitely needs to see it. She needs to go see up. it now, not boarded up and so, everything else. But yeah. really, due to the non travel thing, maybe we'll be we'll have another anniversary soon that we we could justify it again. Yeah, because <laughs> it I was think... a couple of years ago, right? So maybe we might be. It's time. It might be time. Maybe by 35. It'll be 35. Mm -hmm. Now, where did you stay on that trip? Uh, Paradise Pier, I think. Oh, okay. Very Mm -hmm. cool. We went to to Hollywood. We went to the ocean. We went to Oceanside. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my place I go to. Because it's easy to go to. And In-N-Out. And In-N-Out Burger. We made sure... Like... Made sure that we got to In-N-Out Burger. This tour guide that 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 Carry the her. tour guide. I still have my hat. My hat is right there. <laughs> this this oh, this friend who who steered her to this fearful, crazy ride made sure that we that picked these got. kids up. <laughs> I picked you up at the at the taxi loop at Disneyland and said, "Come on, we're going to In-N-Out Burger." And, and loser, we're going in and out. We're going in. <laughs> leave the park right now. <laughs> I have oh, yet to it. try In and Out Burger. I hear it's great. It's awesome. Hmm. What did you think, Cheryl? Did you think it was just okay? No, I loved it. It's for me. I love Big Macs at McDonald's, and to me, it was like having a Big Mac but fresher. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. I love Big Macs. Yeah, I'm definitely on the. I love In it. Like I'm the the love, love, love In and Out Burger. But I know some people don't like. They just think it's meh. But I'll I don't know. I try. think it's perfect. A perfect burger, and their fries are are beautiful. The fries are what fry what dreams fried dreams are made of. <laughs> their fries are what little fries dream of becoming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, they're what potatoes dream of being. Exactly. Little, little tater tots <laughs> dreaming of becoming of being a delicious, fries. perfectly crisp shoestring French fries. So. Oh my gosh. Anyways, oh. Fran, what's your pixie dust? <laughs> well, mine's kind of boring now. Um, I got a new laptop stand. <laughs> So, yay! Yay! For working at home. <laughs> so for the longest time, I had my laptop sitting on an empty Amazon box to try and make it like the height to see, and I finally got a stand. So yay! That's that, cool. You know, some weeks you really got to dig deep to look. Is it for... like a real stand, like those funky ones that are kind of like angled or like? Yeah, yeah, you... yeah. That's what it is. And you put your laptop in it, and then it stand like it kind of stands up. Hmm. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. 
And it takes up less room on my desk because, you know, my Amazon box was big. So, yeah. I, I was using a Kleenex box, but and then I looked at those laptop stands and I was a little overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. So then at the dollar store, I bought one of those metal <laughs> frames that you, you put in the closet, you put in your kitchen cupboard so that you can do like two levels of plates or oh, two yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah. Of, so I use I bought one of those, but it's, I, it's not very versatile. <laughs> it's got to fit in the exact space that you have. It's the little things. It's, it's right. the little things, right? I got to focus on those. Thank you both very much for, for being here with me today and, and recording this. I think it was a lot of fun. It was nice to be back. Yeah. So people can find you online at Let's Make Some Magic. And you're on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, pretty much Even everywhere. Even started a TikTok in the past couple of weeks. Mm. Which is yes, yes, a new I saw. experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. TikTok is a, definitely a whole new world. And Carrie, people can find you on Instagram at muppet crazy sure <laughs> and of course they can find me everywhere everywhere thanks for listening to another episode of the podcast if you'd like to support us the best way that you can do that is to help us get the word out share us online share us with anyone that you think might need a little carry and fran in their days <laughs> we really appreciate the support and you listening and if you happen to be listening on apple podcasts you can leave a rating and review there as well. That really just helps Apple figure, you know, we might be a podcast worth listening to. Thanks again for your support. And until next time, remember, you are never too old to be young. Chase your dreams and design your own happily ever after. <laughs>